I'm Alberto Salazar. I'm the head coach of the Oregon Project. The Oregon Project is a group that was started about 13 years ago with the goal of making Americans competitive again in the distance races from the mile up through the marathon. But we feel that from the beginning when we started that we've always been on the cutting edge of new modalities for recovery. And that's one of the reasons that we're so interested in using the cryosanas from Cryo USA and now uh, with the new therapy of the Novathor where we believe that we're once again at the cutting edge of helping our athletes train harder than any other group in the world and to do that we have to make sure they recover better than any other group in the world. On a scale from 1 to 10 I think recovery is as important as the actual training. It's a 10. I first heard of whole body cryotherapy about five or six years ago. I started looking into it and, uh, and thought, you know what, I'm going to get one of these. So I, I called Cryo USA and, and they sent me a unit to work with and we started using it and, uh, and we felt right away that without doing any sort of scientific experiments that subjectively it seemed to us like athletes felt better and recovered better when they were using the cryo treatments. When we first heard about the whole body Novathor unit, right away I thought to myself, wow, this is great because now we've got something which can treat your whole body, not just in terms of helping a particular soreness or uh, injury or getting over an injury, but in terms of helping one to systemically recover from workouts. Also, just the simplicity of it that you could get into this machine for eight to 12 minutes, four to five times a week and get these great results. We got one about eight weeks before the Rio Olympics and used it in our training and I felt that for that next month uh, that we had the best workouts in terms of consistency that we'd ever had with our group. I think recovery is such an underappreciated aspect of training, whether you're a beginner or a professional at the most elite level. It doesn't really matter how much work you put in if you can't recover well enough uh, to come back and have another hard session when you're needing to, or if you're injured on the day that matters most. Uh, so I think for me, I've always placed a huge emphasis on recovery. So I was excited to have the whole body cryotherapy as an addition to my recovery regimen because you know, I think it's a really great holistic tool that you can use without having to consume or ingest anything. It allows you to uh, help your body recover naturally. I'm Matthew Centrowitz. I've been a part of the Oregon Project for about five years now. Um, Olympic gold medalist, world indoor champion, and primarily a 1,500, 5,000 meter runner. Everyone's doing essentially the same kind of workouts. Everyone's staying on top of the little things, but who can recover quicker in this, in this sport is what it makes, I think, separates us from a lot of other teams. The first time I tried whole body crowd therapy was, I believe, in 2012 when I first joined the group. Once I heard that you had to be in there for about two and a half minutes versus icing for about 10, 12 minutes, I was all about it. Whenever I had the Nova Thor, workouts were going well and I was staying healthy and I was feeling good. So I would say it made a huge difference. Hi, I'm Jordan Hasse. I was a 18 time All-American at the University of Oregon and I made the world championship team in the 10,000 meters in 2013. And I'm the 2016 US 10 mile road champion. We're out there every day working really hard and pushing our bodies, but if we don't recover, then the next day we're not going to be able to push as hard. And it's all about finding that fine line between pushing really hard, but also making sure that you're not overtraining. That's why I like having these, these tools such as uh, the cryotherapy, because I like to push myself really hard. So being able to go and, and get a session in and, and recover is, allows me to be able to push myself really hard pretty much every single day. I tried it the first time in the a couple of months after I joined. We were at altitude camp at the time, so then we came back here and I got in and I noticed a huge difference in my recovery from going in right after a hard workout versus the same workout that I had, I had done a couple of months uh, prior to that. And so I was immediately hooked. It definitely helped my performance going into the Olympic trials. Since I joined the Oregon Project, our training is very, very hard. We train harder than anyone in the world, and without these tools, I think I would definitely be broken down and injured and, and really hurting every day and struggling to keep up with the workouts. So I'm very thankful that we have access to these treatments uh, so that I can perform at the highest level and represent the team well. 
Hi, I'm Galen Rupp. I'm a member of the Nike Orb Project. Went to the University of Oregon and have been here with Nike since 2009. Uh, I'm an Olympic silver medalist in the 10,000 meters as well as the American record holder and also a bronze medalist in the marathon. Recovery is huge. I mean, obviously the, the training is, is a major part of what we do. You know, we have to get our bodies in shape, but we can only train as hard as we can recover. Uh, the first time I tried cryotherapy, uh, I remember being scared just seeing how cold it was. You know, the guy that was demonstrating it said that it was getting to minus, you know, I think it was 180 degrees or something. It may be even colder. Um, so I was a little nervous getting in, but uh, you know, once I tried it, I was in love right away. You know, I thought that as soon as you stepped out, you just feel so rejuvenated and um, the cold is actually not that bad. You know, I'm, I'm, I hate taking ice baths and so we take an ice bath, we might get in there for 15 or 20 minutes at a time and, and that just feels terrible. But so cryo felt great, you know, it's only two and a half minutes, you know, you're in and out really fast. and. As soon as you get out, you, you just feel better overall. It was awesome having the Nova Thor down in Rio. You know, it was, uh, we weren't sure we were going to get it just with customs, but uh, we were all stoked, you know, when it, it got down there. And it was something that we used every day, you know, whether we were just doing an easy training run, a hard workout, um, and especially after races. And I ran a 10,000 final and then had to come back eight days later and run the marathon. And having it down there when it's actually time to perform was, was big for us. Having Nova Thor and cryotherapy as a, as a tool that we can use after really just ball buster workouts. Um, I've just found that I'm able to come back so much quicker and, and really train so much harder. And I think that that's directly, you know, you can see that directly in the performances that I've had.